Welcome sweet friend, it's Ashley Clark with Earthkeeper Yoga and I'm here once again in my studio here in Birmingham, Alabama and I welcome you to a gentle yoga practice. Today's class is so nourishing and yummy and I just absolutely love it and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab a couple of blocks and your blanket and meet me right here on the mat. All right, friend, as we get started, we're gonna come on to our backs. We're gonna keep those knees lifted <clears throat> up towards the sky. And we're gonna really consciously be mindful of head placement today. So you wanna make sure that the chin is parallel with the shoulders. If you were to think about an equal sign, the top line of the line is your chin and the bottom line is your shoulders. They're all nice and parallel to one another. And those palms are gonna shine up towards the ceiling. Shoulders shine down towards the mat. There's a little bit of a heart opening here. The feet are firmly placed on the mat. And I invite you into closed eyes, soft gaze, if that's more comfortable, and a nice big deep cleansing breath. So we're going to take that in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. I invite you to do that again. Really let that exhale go out. Ex exhale out as much as possible. Really nice and slow, almost like when you hear air coming out of an air mattress or a tire. There's a little hiss sound to it. See if you can do that with me. Here we go. Inhale deep. And let it go. Beautiful return to normal breath in and out through the nose. And feeling the belly become soft. Just scanning through the body. We'll start at the crown of the head this um, today and we'll just see how we're feeling all the way down to the soles of the feet. Notice the temperature of the air on your skin. Notice the space that you're taking up on your mat here today. As we move through this practice just for you. On your next inhale, let's bring those knees up and outside of the chest. Fingertips come to the tops of the knees. We're just gonna rock side to side just a little bit. And you'll notice if the elbows get a little bit straighter and the knees go a little bit away, it changes where that massage shows up on the back. So move through in whatever way serves. Massaging through that low back into the back of the hips. Beautiful. Take that left palm off the left knee and let the fingers interlace with the fingers on the right knee. We'll send this left leg up towards the sky. Soft joint through that left knee. And just go ahead and bring some awareness to that left ankle. So pointing and flexing the foot, wiggling the toes even. Deep breath whenever you need it.
We'll shine the sole of the foot in towards center and then out to the left. Nice. All right, relax through this right leg. So the knee's still in right outside of the ribs. We're gonna engage through the left side, take an inhale. And exhale, we're gonna come at 45 degrees as we lower that leg. So we're gonna have some engagement on that left side of the body. And then we're gonna intentionally soften through the right side. So can you find this balance with the lower part of your body holding strong through that left side, softening through the right? And then lowering that left leg all the way down, softening the leg into the mat, releasing these left fingertips and slowly letting this right palm guide this right knee out to the right. Let the sole of the right foot come in contact with that left thigh, soften through the low body. You're like a fallen tree here, deep breaths. Beautiful, take this right palm out near the right knee. You're gonna to start to guide that knee up towards center and then let the left palm find the outside of the right knee. Start to guide that right knee over to the left. Maybe the right arm reaches away. Find that space on the back of the neck, soften through the hips. Breath and awareness to that right side body, through the right shoulder, to the right hip. Let's roll on to the back. Lift this left knee and then we'll lift both knees up towards the heart or outside of the ribs. Little soft sway side to side. And we're going to move through that whole transaction on the left side. So we'll bring it fingertips and interlace them right at the top of that left knee. And we'll send this right leg up towards the sky. Soft joint through that right knee, pulling this left knee into wherever it feels comfortable in the body. And then we'll bring awareness to that right ankle, wiggling the toes, circling at the ankle. Shining the sole of the foot towards the inside and then the outside. And then we'll take a fresh breath. Exhale, bring that right leg to 45 degrees. Strength there and an intentional, an awareness of softening through this left side. And check the position of the chin parallel with shoulders. deep breath whenever you need it. Lowering that right leg all the way, softening it into the mat. Releasing these right fingertips. Left palm guides this left knee out to the left. Sole of the left foot makes connection with that right inner thigh. Soften through the body. Fallen tree.
softening awareness to the hips and to the lower part of your body. And then we'll lift this knee up towards the sky. Right palm comes outside of left knee. Slow guide over to the right. And then maybe that left arm reaches back towards the left. And we'll breathe into this shape, finding the softness that each breath invites in. Soften through that right glute. One more breath. Beautiful. Roll onto the back. Palms come face down on either side of the hips. Knees are bent. Knees up towards their, excuse, yes, knees are up towards the sky. Soles of the feet are planted on the mat. We'll take an inhale, slowly lift the pelvis. Lift the heart, chin comes towards the chest. And breath in the belly. <sighs> Sighing it out, slow release down. And then we need to make our way into child. So options are to rock and roll all the way up and over, taking your time there. Or just roll it onto one side, press into that top hand and make your way there. So this first child's is nice and soft. We'll bring knees to the outside edges of the mat. Sit the booty back. Reach the heart towards the floor. Beautiful. Slow rise up. We're gonna come into our table. Feel free to bring that blanket under the knees if you want a little cushion there. We'll be here for a few moments. We'll spread through these fingers and we haven't done anything to warm up through the wrists. So let's give ourselves some little circles. Spread the fingers nice and wide. You're gonna bring the left shoulder over towards the right wrist, or excuse me, left wrist and then over to the right wrist. Little bitty circles here. A little bit of pressure and then a release. And then we'll make some knuckles. So make those fists, press those knuckles into the mat, keep some integrity through the spine here breathe and if this is painful then of course that's a no for you <laughs> beautiful bring those wrists back shine those palms nice and wide fingers nice and wide and we're going to start in cat cow but i'm going to invite you to explore what a barrel roll would feel like so you can keep eyes on me every time maybe that you come up for an inhale first couple of rounds you can see what i'm doing there there's really no wrong way we just want to get into the middle of the back all right reaching through the crown of the head we'll go ahead and take that inhale reach crown and tailbone up belly drops and the exhale round it in belly button reaches towards the sky shoulder blades come together inhaling reaching up crown and tailbone and then exhale rounding it in option to move just like you're moving or to add in that barrel roll which has a little pelvic circle gets a little bit deeper into the shoulders and the thoracic spine just exploring here the center of your body, from shoulders to hips, from belly 
to spine. Nice. Coming back into stillness, reach those fingertips towards the top of the mat. Take an inhale. Slowly send the booty up towards the sky. Melt the heart towards the floor. Puppy pose. Chin or brow connected to the mat. And then press up into those hands. We're going to reset this table. We're going to do sewing machine and add in a little extra at the end. I'm going to do it towards you to begin with so you can see what I invite in for your fingertips. So strong through this right hand, through both knees. We'll take an inhale and lift this left arm up towards the sky. And then it'll be an exhale to thread it through. But we're going to keep sewing. So inhaling up and exhaling through. Next one, we're going to thread that arm through on the exhale. Come on down. You can take that right palm, back of the palm, and let the left temple reach to that as a little cushion. And then once you get into this threading of the needle, you're going to turn your left palm down and then use your fingertips to kind of walk that hand further away from you, deepening the stretch through this left shoulder blade. And breathing into that. You can stay here. If you want a little bit more, we're going to extend the right leg. Keep the toes on the floor and then send the right heel back. You might have to explore just a little bit to find that stretch to the right calf. Soften that right glute if you have the leg extended. We'll bring that right knee in, press into this right elbow, and reset your table. Maybe a little cat-cow here, feeling into both sides of the body. Celebrating the difference of what feels closed and what feels open. And then we'll move through this opposite side. So inhale, lift this right arm up. And exhale, thread it through. Moving just like that. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, shine it through. Reach those fingertips away. Be sure to turn that right palm down, reach those fingertips away from you, just 
increasing that stretch through the right shoulder blade. And then if you want a little bit more, we'll send this left leg long, those toes stay connected to the mat, send that left heel back, just a little bit of some goodness for that left calf. Soften through the left glute. And we'll bring that left knee in, press into this left elbow, bring ourselves to table. And then once we get into that table, feel free to move your blanket out of the way, although we will come back to a kneeling um, series or flow in just a minute. So we're gonna curl toes here, take an inhale, and exhale into a down dog. Feel into those calves as the heels make their way towards the back of the mat. It's okay if they don't make contact with it. And then we'll slowly take a walk up to the top of the mat. Let's meet there together in a forward fold. Big bend in those knees. Be gentle with yourself here. We'll take an inhale. And exhale, rise all the way up, finding that softness and that stillness, that connection of your feet to the mat. Deep cleansing breath. Beautiful mountain pose. Soften through the body, feel the air against the skin. And beautiful. Take an inhale, lift the arms up over the head, and exhale, settle the shoulders. On your next inhale, you're gonna bend the knees and start to tilt forward with the upper body. We're gonna look like a downhill skier. Inhale, exhale, rise up. Nice and controlled. Moving along this front plane of the body. The belly may even rest on the thighs as you come into that forward movement. We've got three more. Beautiful. Reach those fingertips up towards the sky. Bring the hands down in front of the heart. Bow to the chest, cleansing breath. <sighs> nice. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. And exhale, gentle forward fold. We'll come all the way down. We'll find that side to side sway. As you're ready, come back into your stillness. Big bend in the knees. Take an inhale and exhale. We're going to ripple all the way back up. Palms come next to the hips. Shine forward. Mountain pose. Give yourself that cleansing breath. Beautiful. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. And exhale, hands come down in front of the heart. You're going to go ahead and find a soft gaze at something that's not moving. We're moving right into our balance pose for the day. So we're going to take an inhale and move that body weight over to the left side of the body. Keeping the ball of the right foot on the floor, start to bend the right knee and shift that right knee out to the right, opening through the hip. 
Now find the weight mostly on that left side body. Start to increase awareness and integrity and strength, rippling it up through the crown of your head. And we'll slowly lift this right foot off the floor and let it come to the right calf. Tree pose. Lifting the arms if it feels okay in your body. Beautiful. Hands come back together. Right foot lowers back to the ball of the right foot. Rotate that right knee back forward. Place the right foot down. We're gonna bring body weight over to the right foot and then lift the left knee ball. The left foot's on the mat. We're just gonna give it a little circle. Releasing anything that showed up in the foot as we asked it to hold us in that way. All right, and then we'll keep it there. And we'll slowly start to rotate that left knee open. Let that connection come to that right calf, squeezing through the pelvis, soft gaze, lifting the arms if it feels okay in your body. Shining that left knee back just a little bit. Coming back down, lowering that left foot, coming back over. We're going to do that same goodness to the right. So bend that right knee again. I got you out of that one a little bit sooner than I should have, but <laughs> we didn't come out with control like we normally do. Beautiful. Back to the top of the mat. Let's find a moment of stillness and presence. Feeling the feet once again connected to the mat. Rippling through the spine. Hands are still at the heart. Take an inhale. Sigh it out. Beautiful. Inhale, arms and gaze rise. Exhale forward, fold, fresh breath. We're going to send this right leg long, bringing blocks on either side of the left foot. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, lift. And exhale, settle. Continuing just like that. Nice. All right, you're gonna hop this right foot forward just a little bit, straightening through the left leg, bring these blocks to the highest setting that you can. And we're gonna inhale halfway and shine the crown of the head away. A lot of space here. Breathe. Deepening that stretch to the right calf. And then we'll bend both knees. Right knee comes down to the mat. Right top of the foot comes to the mat. Inhale, rise up. Big stretch through that right quad. Reach the belly button forward. Little baby back bend. Press that left foot into the floor. Nice and soft. We'll bring the hands back to the blocks. Curl right toes, top of the mat. Forward fold. Lower the blocks to that medium setting. Give yourself just a moment here. And we'll step this left leg back, same thing, low lunge. Inhale, straightening just a little bit, rolling through the spine, and then exhale, settling down.
settle in. Long spine. We'll straighten through the right leg, hop to find a little bit more of the left foot connected to the mat. And then we'll bring these blocks to the highest setting. We'll inhale halfway long spine, reach it away, feel it in that right hamstring. And exhale, breathe. Beautiful, bend both knees. Top of the left foot comes to the mat. Slow rise up, shifting the hips forward. Little baby back bend, stretching through that left quad. Beautiful, hands come down. This time, just put your hands on the blocks. Let this right knee come through. Move the blocks out of the way. Send yourself back into a child's pose. Nice, lifting up, bringing those knees over to one side. We're gonna come to sit, but we are going to use the blanket to lift the cushy part of the tailbone up just a little bit. So you slide off the front of the blanket where the bony part is on the mat, but the cushy part of the booty is on the blanket. You're going to need a block, bring it in between the legs. And we're going to do a yin style, so a very nice juicy release through the low spine and the back, which means we get to round the low back. But we do want to be careful, so if you start to come into this and it's too much on those hamstrings, which I tried to stretch out before we got here, then you could always bend the knees as much as you need to, okay? That might not be what you see me do, but that is always available to you. So we'll just create some length through the spine and then inhale, start to round through the low back, shoulder blades come apart. See if you can stack those palms. Maybe you need it to be elbows. <clears throat> Let the brow rest where it will. You're just going to come into a very rounded upper body forward fold. Now again, if it's too much for the knees, you might even bring the hands underneath the kneecaps. And let the toes fall out to the sides.
Give yourself about 30 more seconds. Scan for tension. slowly come out in a way that serves the body. You can move the block out of the way. You can move the blanket out of the way. And a, comp a compensatory <laughs> pose for this would be to roll onto the back and bring the knees into the belly or maybe outside of the hips. And just done a full circle here right back to where we started. Give yourself anything else that you may need before you find a few moments of stillness and softness. And then when that feels complete, I invite you to close your eyes or soften the gaze. Give yourself a deep cleansing breath and rest. As you're ready, you can slowly begin to bring some awareness back into this space. Bring some awareness to your fingers and your toes. Circle your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up over your head, point your toes, give yourself a full body stretch. And then let yourself roll onto your right side, moving into a fetal position, bringing the knees up close to the belly. Staying soft against your mat for just another moment. And once again, feeling the air on your skin an awareness of yourself here, right here, right now. And then as you're ready, you can 
make your way back up into a comfortable seat. We'll meet there together with hands at the heart. Chin bowed down towards chest. May you know kindness. May you be kind. Until we meet together again, gratitude for practicing with me today. Namaste.